Today's video from Sharper, we're taking a look at the EJ near full and data full error messages on the XCA213 register. Um, so a bit of background, obviously the machine only has one printer and you can set the printer to work as receipt or journal, you can't have it both. Um, if you have it in receipt mode, then the journal data is stored electronically and must be printed at some point. Um, you can actually set the machine, which I'll show you how to do, to automatically print and clear the electronic journal with every Z1 report you do. I'll show you that in this video, but I'll, I'll also have a specific video done, a shorter video that tells you just how to do that, which will be, there'll be a link to that at the end of this video. So if that's all you want to do, skip to the end of the video and click on the link to that one, because um, this video is going to be about seven or eight minutes long. Um, but basically, at some point you need to print the EJ information um, and what tends to happen or what can happen is depending on how the machine's set up that data can be somewhere in the region of eight to nine thousand lines and if you're not in a routine of printing the EJ um, then when that data's full it just appears as an error message on the um, screen you can depend again depend on how the machine's been programmed you can ignore it for a little while, but eventually that EJ will have to be printed in order to be reset. So if you get in the near full error message, EJ near full, you can, you should be able to, depending on the set of the machine, be able to carry on trading for a little while before you have to do this. But if you get in EJ data full, um, so the message here, you've, you've got to act. You've either got to, there's only two options really. You can run the report and reset it, or you've got to reset the whole tool, which seems a bit extreme. Um, I because it needs 8,000, 9,000 lines in the memory, I haven't got it, so that's why I've written the error messages down. Um, so the first thing you need to do if you get in the EJ data full error message is to actually run the read, uh, sorry, the reset version of the uh, EJ report, so which is this X1Z1 700 decimal point multiply TLNS. If you don't press the decimal point, you get the X version of the report, which will print out those 8,000, 9,000 lines, but won't reset it. So definitely don't do that. What you need to do, key to X1Z1 mode, 700 decimal point, multiply, and then the TLNS button. This will now print out the electronic journal. So mine's probably not going to be that long in compared to comparison to yours because if you've never run this report and you get in the error message you're going to be printing out 8,000, 9,000 lines of information which may or may not be of interest to you. What you'll need to have to hand possibly is an additional till roll because the, you're going to print out a lot of information but there's no way around it other than actually resetting the machine. Providing you've done the Z version of the report, this data will be reset. And as I said at the start of the video, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to automate this so it never happens again. So the way that works is it automatically prints, every time you run your end of day Z1 report, it automatically prints the EJ. So it makes your daily Z a bit longer, but then you haven't ever got an error message like this. So all that sales information, yours may well be still printing because um, you'll have a a lot more transaction lines than I have um, but all that information has now reset you can prove the point if you want to by running the report again or even running the X version of it so 700 multiply TLNS that data will now be zero because you wiped the EJ file so in terms of the problem you're getting if you're in the middle of a day's trading you can now turn the key back to the reg mode um, and then start trading straight away I can do it, obviously I'm not proving much because I didn't have the error message in the first place, but the point is turn the key back to reg and carry on with your um, normal sales transactions. If you don't want that to happen again, you've got two options. You either manually run that EJ report regularly, so either every day, every week or every month, um, but remembering to keep doing it so that it never gets to the point where you're printing out 8,000, 9,000 lines, or you can force the machine to print the EJ with every 
Z report, which is what I'm going to show you how to do now, which is on the crib sheet there. So it's turn the key round to the PGM mode, it's subtotal, then job code 68, followed by the multiply sign. You get others prog appear on the display, and then you enter 00110011. One one followed by subtotal and then TLNS to save. What this means is that every time you run your end of day report, you automatically get the journal print and reset. So you never get that error message again. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, there's plenty of other videos on getting the best out of the 213 and other sharp cash registers, which you're welcome to check out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.